Raphael Levy for TCGP.com playing a white black vampire horse. We are on the on the draw, I think, and we have uh, quite a good hand. Opponent could be a blue black control, could be a black white vampire, could be a lot of things. We'll see soon enough. And we drew one of the one of the decks crusades. So he's a blue black creatures. Freebooter is probably gonna take the fatal push. Oh the destiny. If he takes destiny then he blanks the fatal push because I'm most likely going to kill the freebooter. This is the kind of hand you want against blue black control. If your hand is too too slow or you don't have any, uh, if you don't have legions landing or any way to uh, put pressure, you're you should be far behind. That's actually the perfect draw because then we can attack. We can start attacking right away because his creatures are more um, efficient than yours. Um, Siphoner is a real problem if you don't have ways to make tokens. And now we have already four, uh, four power on the board. Could be six with uh, Radiant Destiny next turn. Depends if I want to play the, the Zealot first. I might want to play the Zealot so I can uh, turn the Legion's Landing into uh, Adanto. If you hear a little uh, err in the background, don't worry. It's uh, not uh, it's not your speakers. It's not my microphone. It's just my uh, it's just my son. That's uh, I don't know what he's doing. He was mommy, and that's uh, he's just bang a little bit. Anyway, we took one from the freebooter, and we can either play the destiny or the zealot. Um, I think I want to play the Zealot here and just attack with uh, one of my guys, just to uh, to try to flip the Legion's Landing, or try to hit the fourth the fourth land for a uh, call to the feast. So is is uh, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do, or even get a fatal push. Right, so we drew the fourth land. So what do we do? Should we attack with everything or just uh, lifelink vampire? I don't think we want to trade the uh, the lieutenant for the siphoner. We could offer it. Yeah, I think it's also that's also an option. He only had three cards. I think he mulligan too. So trading the Lieutenant for the Siphoner might not be too bad either. And the landing will uh, will flip it with the Call to the Feast. Yeah. But we do have a land, so it's all good. And I see negates my Call to the Feast in that case. My, uh, my plan doesn't work. All right, here's another one. But with the one mana, he cannot counter this, so we're all good. Also, the good thing about Call to the Feast is that we can block the Siphoner. All right, and that we're not going to play here. They're going to attack for two and play the Call to the Feast. If we draw a land, we can uh, an untapped land. We can uh, nicely curve into uh, the Dusk's Legion, Ze Zealot, and a Destiny, and attack for a million damage. 
and we can just play Radiant Destiny, flip the Legion's Landing, and have the fifth mana for Zealot, so we don't actually need the land. Hostage Taker, okay, he's gonna take care of, uh, of the Zealot, it's fine. Not sure why he uh, didn't sack his Evolving Wild, there might be a reason, not sure which one, but there might be one. All right, so that's even a, that's an even better draw. So we're going to attack here, flip Legion, Legion's Landing and play the Horsey. And we're gonna get token right away. And that would, that would, that would probably mean that's game over here. I don't think there's a way he can come back from two Horseys and next turn I have Radiant's Destiny, Radiant Destiny. He's gonna kill one of my vampires. He's probably not gonna trade for one of my vampires for the Siphoner. He might, but and next turn we have Shepherd Dunes, we have Deadlands, we have a lot of options next turn. So let's go. So no blocks. Alright. We're gonna play this guy. And gain uh and have a token right away. Since we gained life. We can have a horsey token. This matchup does not always go like this because if he plays the siphoner before I'm able to block and he starts drawing too many lands, that's a real problem. Now we were ahead all the, all the whole game, so So we're fine, and we're most likely winning this game. The sideboarding match, the sideboarding game is pretty hard as well because we don't know how many duress we have to bring in. We uh, can't really bring in the um, Immortal Sun because of this guy. If this guy steals our Immortal Sun, that's that's pretty sad for us. So I think we just bring Fatal Push. I don't know if there's a better uh, better option. There's not much he can do at this point. He has two cards in hand. I drew a fatal push so I can basically kill all, all his blockers. He might counter my uh He might counter my uh Radiant Destiny, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so vampires. Uh I might not even kill anything here. Attack with everything. Let's go. Uh, do you want to kill the freebooter? That's enough damage. That's, that's fine. Alright, so now I can't actually kill the hostage taker. Alright, so he kills this guy. That's fine. Cast, kill this guy. Does he have negate? No, it doesn't have a negate. I can kill the hostage taker. He does have the negate here. I'll fatal push my horsey. That's okay. Get this guy back. Draw a card. Still a lot of damage, it's 10 damage, he has to block, he has no cards, and facing four creatures. And it's probably gonna be a scoop, yes. So now the sideboard. As I said, I think we got a little lucky in this one. Because this, I don't think this matchup is very good. Uh, we wanna play the Fatal Push to deal with the Siphoner right away. I think arrest and binding are a little slow. Uh, Sin Mary is okay, not great. Uh, 
Like, the thing is, we don't really want to give him targets for our stitch taker. This is okay if we manage to gain life, but it doesn't always work that way. This is a little too slow against his creatures because he has a lot of uh, fast creatures and we don't want to be stuck with these. So I think either binding or rest for fatal push, we want to keep the deck uh, streamlined or uh, destiny since he kills both of our creatures. Destiny is sometimes a card we don't really want in multiple. I think we we'll take out the binding. I think that's all we have to do. I don't want to take out creatures for the rest because sometimes the rest doesn't do anything and puts us behind if he has uh, uh, shot the course or, uh, or other uh, card drawing spells and we don't really do that many cards or makes that much card advantage. Okay, our hand is fine if we manage to draw. A third land. Uh, all right, let's start with this. Good thing about this is that if we uh, that we have two, is that if he has uh, a siphoner, we can play two and double block. Doesn't matter if it's legendary. Why well, he doesn't have a black mana? We might actually play the second one right away. Well, there's no real reason to keep it anyway, so. One mana, one one lifelink. Ah, so he doesn't have a third land, which is unfortunate. He doesn't have a, a black mana either, so this is not gonna be too, uh, too exciting, this game. Well, I don't have a third mana either, but I do have creatures. Unfortunately, we don't have a very uh, very interactive game here. I think we're gonna attack first and play the Queen's Commission, and then start to uh, to make more guys, to make bigger guys. I didn't do the math, but I think that's right. All right, here comes the third land. Champion of Wits, okay. If we draw a land, we can play both. If we don't draw a land, we can play Destiny. You can have a uh, Yahani's expertise. So, uh, Keeping the the creatures in hand for uh, just to, uh, to not be blown out by a uh, mass removal is also could be a good option. Could be a good idea. So we're just gonna do that and attack with all these guys. Oh, so he discarded the trooper cabra. He's on six left. He, now he needs a Chupacabra, but then we have a Thopter Arrest. Uh, this guy's not doing much. So he must have a removal, but we do also have a removal and a way to uh, pump all our guys. So if we kill this guy, I think he's dead. He can't have two. Uh, no, he can have uh, moments, of, moments craving, and then go up to two. Yeah, that's right. So he's not dead yet, but will be very soon. So he's on two with three creatures, and have a removal, and another. Oh, if he has a. Uh, he needs expertise, he can't come back. He would be able to come back, but that's 
it's probably not happening. You have the the first fort, even though he has filled up ruin, but it's gonna take a turn for it to for him to activate it, and each vampire is lethal. Yeah, I think that's I think that's game here. Let's try uh, this guy. So Mama's Craving is not killing anything we have. What did I miss? Oh, Raska's Contempt, fine. Yep, that should, oh, that's still not game. Why, wow, he doesn't want to die, this guy. Get some more pressure since uh, since this guy does not want to die. He used a lot of his uh, a lot of his resources, and he doesn't have a land. So, what could he do here? Chupacabra and Fatal Push still doesn't work because I have a removal. Uh, what does he need to survive this turn? Nope, nothing. That's it.